Okay. Hello everyone, I am Tariq and I am from Coda Trust. This is my first tutorial in YouTube and uh, today I will show you some cool things in CSS3. Many of you may have seen in many websites when you hover your mouse, there are a lot of elements uh, which actually moves. So today we are going to learn how it's done. Okay, first of all, I am using Notepad++ as my editor and I have uh, set all, all things up okay I'm uh, using uh, internal CSS so it will help you to understand easily let's take style okay done let's take a div inside the body uh, the class, what could be the class? Let's take square. Let's change the property square. So with Let's take it uh, 200 pixel height 200 pixel. Let's take the background orange. Okay, let's see. How is our div? Let's run it. Where is taking time? Okay, there we are. Okay, we have uh, made a orange color square which has 200 pixel width and 200 pixel height so now our basic idea is to when uh, we put our mouse on the on this square it will move from left to right so let's see how it's done so for this square column over okay let's change the background also let's make it uh, pink this is what, what actually moves the square web kit transform transform property we are uh, okay I'll tell you after writing Okay, uh, transform uh, trans uh, translate property actually moves the square, and uh, wh when we want to move it from left to right or right to left, we have to use uh, the x because uh, it's x axis, right? And uh, when we want to move it uh, up to down, we have to use y axis. Like we have to just write y, and uh, this is the. Uh, uh, I have uh, written 40 pixel. This is uh, what it uh, actually moves. How much pixel uh, will it move? Okay, I have not set the transition. All. 
let's take uh, two seconds transition uh, is used uh, how much how longer it will the effect will stay right okay let's see save it refresh it okay it's working see when you put your mouse on the square it will make it will move le from left to right and it's changing its color from orange to pink okay let's copy this div four times right save it refresh it see wow it's cool right ok let's keep a margin take uh, 5 pixels save it refresh it see it's good you can write uh, many things in the box and even if you want to move the writings you can do it also same things this is actually really basic things I'm showing. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it for today. Uh, it's almost done. Okay, for today's take time. Uh, have fun. See you.